I'm going to be reacting to some old artwork. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to do something that's a little bit more fun and chilled and laid back and I am going to log on to my old DeviantArt account and react to my old artwork. It has been a long long time. Now for those of you who are new to DeviantArt or have never heard, it was like basically the OG of art, social media art thing. Like it was a social media platform for artists and creators. It hasn't really changed, like the platform hasn't changed. You also used to be able to sell art prints and things on there. Anyway, enough talking, let's get into the video and let's look back on some of my old artwork. Oh, I'm slightly nervous for this. I am on the main page and the first thing that I've noticed is there's a post from 2008. That's the last time I uploaded a blog post. In 2008 I was 17 when I updated this post and I'm listening to Kings Leon reading nothing watching nothing playing music eating nothing drinking nothing why even share it then <laughs> why am I even sharing that that is literally the most pointless thing I've ever seen in my life So what is this? Do you know what? I don't hate this piece. It's, it's not great. I, I it's just like a pointless piece and it is very, very, very sketchy. I'm pretty sure that the brush I'm using here is just like a completely round brush, like no pressure to it. This is cold winter. I kind of like the gradient of the hair. That's not, it, It's like very different to my style now, but it's not terrible. <laughs> Okay. It's very cold outside and I'm in the wintry Christmassy spirit. Well, you can't tell Catherine because you've drawn a miserable girl crying. Why is she crying? Why is she crying? So I'm saying I'm in the Christmas spirit, I'm having a great time, but I drew her crying. That was from that account. Let's start with the folder saying extremely old, so 2005 to 2007. So this was about 13 years ago, which means I was around about 13, 14 at the time. What's going on? So I can, look at that, the signature in the corner actually looks similar to my catnip logo signature, the way I do the case, I still do the case like that. Got catnip in my mind since 13 years old. I got some nice comments, thanks guys. Is that meant to be a mouth or a nose? I'm not sure. Okay, so we've got some Harry Potter fan art. Jesus. And I've wrote, oh dear, we all have our embarrassing moment around someone we fancy. Well, at least I do. <laughs> oh, the cringe. To a 13 year old me, I obviously did something really embarrassed like fart by an accident in front of my crush or something according to this. And you know what, the colours are quite good, it kind of gives the vibes of a Hogwarts corridor, right? Right? <laughs> it's not too bad for a 13 year old, give myself some credit. Jedi Knight. The line, oh this used to be like a trend thing, someone would draw some line art who was probably better than you at um, everything and you would colour it in your style and you could enter like competitions and stuff to win uh, money. I kind of like how I've done the lightsaber, well done me. What is this? Oh so this is like a comic, this is like my first comic guys. This is revolutionary. I don't know why I've done it on a gradient background. Maybe it was a cool thing to do back in the day, who knows? Basically, I didn't have a graphics tablet and I always wanted a graphics tablet and I didn't. I used to have my mouse and I actually think I drew this on paper and scanned it in and edited it on Photoshop. 
this was another one of those things where like you would draw like you would get someone's line art and you would draw it I'm not sure what I was thinking with the nose and the shading he's got a very thin nose but anime people do have thin noses and I quite like the glossy effect of the hair this again was someone else's work because I didn't have a graphic tablet I couldn't draw my own stuff so I just used to colour it all in again I'm using like the gradient effect I used to use the lasso tool that's why it's got this kind of like blocky look to it wow this is teenage angst all over massively angsty I must have been very upset that a boy didn't smile at me or something like that at the time what have I wrote here totally done in Photoshop with a mouse I don't know really, I sort of like the style of it, so I thought I'll do it again. In that case, I'll have to give him a name then. Plaster face. So cringy, oh my god. Because they got a plaster on their face, am I right? Okay, he was supposed to be cute, but I got carried away. He was meant to be cute. He's ripping his own heart out. Moving swiftly up. What is going on? Why is 13 year old me drawing butts like that? What is going on? Did my mum and dad know what I was drawing? Like, what's going on here? Why is a 13 year old drawing this sort of stuff? What's wrong with me? Rudy dude, I wonder if she's meant to have blue skin. Again, this was someone else's line art. And I remember when I did this, I was dead proud of how the clouds turned out over here and how the sea turned out. And I spent ages on this. I wonder if I've said how long I've, oh yeah. So it took me five hours with a mouse. Mm. I can see why a 13 slash 14 year old would be proud of this. Another line art colour, someone else's work. Nothing to see here, really. This is my own work. I decided to draw with a mouse. And I've wrote, I decided to call her Aiko because she's like Cupid, but the only thing she can't figure out is how no one likes her. That's not very nice. She's looking up to the sky because she's really confused. She just goes around looking out to the sky, looking confused because no one likes her. Practice with a tablet. This must be when I got my tablet at Christmas. Does it say it when I added it? It doesn't say the date when I added it. But, cool. Got a few questions about this. One, what is that on her face? Okay, why is one of her boobs abnormally larger than the other one of her boobs? I must have been experimenting with style or seeing an artist do this kind of massive lip style. This is ridiculous. I'm moving on from this. I remember being so happy with this. Again, it's someone else's line art that I coloured in. So this was in 2006, which was 12 years ago. So I think I'll be about 14. This took me six hours. Isn't it crazy when you look back on your old work, something that would have took me six hours then would literally take me about 15 minutes now. That's why you practice, folks. This is why you practice. Hmm. Strange. I remember doing a draw this again challenge with this, which we'll probably see later on on our DeviantArt. But purple and green is just a horrible combination, especially when it's a vivid green like that. Ugh. more Harry Potter fan art this was based on chapter 4 number 12 Grimmauld Place uh, which would have been Order of the Phoenix which is one of my favourite Harry Potter books by the way what? it looks like his arm is dislocated what is going on hmm. yeah this isn't too bad I quite like the way that I've added like I'm starting to get to grips with like lighting in certain areas her boobs are unnecessarily big and they are spilling out what is with those hands hang on i've done the thumbs the wrong way around her arms 
her hands are the wrong way around as a human but she's an angel maybe angels have thumbs where the little fingers should be <laughs> maybe that's what i was going for who knows and it took me six hours okay what was with teenage me and drawing women with boobs maybe i just really aspired to be one of those women i'm totally like what was i thinking did my mom and dad know what i was drawing sorry mom sorry dad i like this i don't know why the face is a bit weird hmm. you're not kidding i thought i'd submit something little since i haven't in like years okay two weeks I've just been to the beach, you kind of inspired me. Comments, please. No comments have been added yet. Hello, Dagnes, my old friend. Another Harry Potter fan art. I love Harry Potter so much. I'm literally on Goblet of Fire right now. I'm rereading through all the books. Hermione kind of looks like Latino. Oh, I've actually said this. She does. She looks like Latino in here. I remember being so happy with how this turned out i think i really like the colors in it the blues and the purples i don't think this is bad at all this took six and a half hours this was illustrated i remember doing this this was illustrated whilst i was listening to pablo natini's autumn leaf song which was one of my favorite songs at the time um you can definitely start to see an improvement of what i've uh, of of my drawings and developing yeah you, you can see how it's improving i used to i still use pink quite heavily in my work oh this is more like it cute this took me like a full working day <laughs> what's going on here uh, it says I uh, decided to try out a different colouring scheme and it came out nicely I think even though there doesn't be, appear to be much colour and the shading on it really it took me ages to do I wanted a cute image and I think she may be a mascot for my site in the future her name's Butter I decided we'll enjoy I like it because I like the colours like <laughs> stay true to yourself I actually look a bit like her now except she's like a skinny version have I got the thumbs? Like, what's she doing here with her hand? Peace, bro. Peace. I'm using a lot of gradients here. And I've started using textures for things like the trousers and the tops, which is, um, adds a bit of depth to the illustration. The purple background is a little bit too much, I think. I remember this getting comments. Oh, it only got like... Seven or so. oh. Well, I remember this doing quite well back in the day. I remember being excited about it. Fast steps, fast sketch, fast colouring. Bleh. I'll scrap it later. No, you won't, Catherine. That was for the likes and the comments. I wouldn't have scrapped it. I was proud of it, okay? I was lying. Attention seeker. Uh, I remember being really happy with how this turned out. Quite impressed with how... The lighting is hitting the hat. Like it looks really good. Like it's it's at the right angle, like the moon's up there. I'm starting to learn a bit more about lighting and bouncing it off. And the hat itself, if you just I isolate the hat, I'm quite I'm, I'm still impressed by that. Well I'm done careful and pat on the back for me. The rest of it, like the pumpkin patch, I've clearly just copied and pasted one pumpkin. And the cat needs some work. The cat's kind of like just like floating in midair. This must have been when I really wanted a boyfriend, but no one would have me. Thanks for having me now, Dean. Mm. It was inspired by Ray Lamontagnes. Ray, Ray I don't know how to say that name, but I, I know who he is and he's really good. Hold you in my arms, scrap really, etc, etc. You weren't going to scrap it, Catherine. Stop lying to yourself. This is a Naruto comic slash fan art thing. Um, it's not too bad. I don't hate it. It looks like it. I've made it look like a generic uh, comic with the... I must have downloaded like the comic font that they use in anime and stuff. It's cute. Let's move on from this. 
felt bored and wrong. 30 minutes. I'm getting quicker. You're getting quicker, Catherine. Well done. 45 minutes. A lot better. A lot quicker. I'm starting to get a lot faster. The eyes are very wide apart. This was kind of like the fashion that I dressed like. It's like this indie style. And I used to have this fringe that went like from around here all the way across my face. Okay, so this was my art GCSE submission. In our art GCSE, we had to have 10 hours of a lot of time to sit and do an art piece. And I was the only one in the whole class for, a, I still think for a very long time, um, who opted for a digital art piece. It wasn't really known and it wasn't very common. Digitally, so I bundled all my computer and everything literally from home this massive fat monitor from home a massive fat tower a massive heavy graphics tablet and i brought it from home plugged it into a corner of the room in our art class and i sat and i drew this and it was about an eating disorder we had to kind of give some reference There's a lot of issues in school about it and so I decided to focus on something quite serious um, and yeah this was the final piece and I got an A star in my art GCSE so it must have worked so thank you art teacher right this image when you flip it upside down looks so strange her chin is huge so from this perspective it looks fine flip it upside down it looks crazy. I remember that background taking me so long. I really hate it, apparently. I don't think it's that bad. Give yourself a break. But this is a generic anime style. There's no style to this at all. Just generic anime. Uh, I used to, I went through a phase of drawing a lot of my char characters with these huge ears. You'll probably see it later on. And I, I just used to do it all the time. Like, the ears were absolutely massive. But yeah, I quite like the way I'm colouring this. The pastel colours are starting to creep in. Another bio thing, just a self-portrait again of the huge ears. I don't know what I was thinking of the style. It kind of reminds me of a baby monkey. Again, with the huge ears. Do you know what? I don't hate this. Because, like, the style is really basic and simple. It kind of looks quite cute. I don't mind that. Ah, so I remember being super happy with how this girl turned out. It was like a sketch, and this girl here painting her toenails. I still think this is pretty impressive. Like, honestly, I do. Like, I must say, it's rubbish. You liar! You don't think this is rubbish at all. This night was too long. Yeah, I'll scrap this later. Oh my god, I'm such a liar. I loved this when I did it. I remember being dead impressed and looking at my comments. I've only got like three comments there. Thinking, is anyone commenting saying don't scrap it? Don't scrap it. My sister came to the rescue and said don't scrap it. But I, I'm still impressed with this. Especially the one where she's painting her, her foot and the angle's kind of looking her up. She, she looks pretty cool. She looks cute. Why is her head so big? She like doing this. What an awkward angle. What an awkward hand position. That's everyone now do this and then put it on here. That is such an awkward hand position. Why did I even drop? This is quite an important photo, guys, because when I posted this, I illustrated a friend's child and i posted it on my facebook page actually said to me you should start selling these catherine i would pay for these and that was where in the back of my mind catnip was born so thank you very much for this from this got a lot of commissions and people messaging me saying oh i would love you to draw my daughter and stuff like that and i did it for free and i kept getting messages and because obviously word was going around that i was drawing them for free so everyone wanted a piece of the free pie and messaged me and i had to start saying no i'm not doing it anymore i'm too busy with work and stuff but yeah that's where Kato was born naruto naruto fan art yay i remember being so happy with how the hair turned out and looking at it now it's still pretty good isn't it like it's still like really 3 d I've put so much energy and soul into his hair that I've clearly gave up when it came to the shading and finishing off 
So th there's before in 2006, and there's an after in 2013. Why? Am I drawing the head so big? Why is the hair like... Uh, so yeah, before 2006, still loving the big boobies in 2013. Big boobs, big boobs, big boobs. So yeah, I think that's it. We've looked at everything on my old DeviantArt account. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been really fun to sit down with you guys and have a look back on my old work. And it's really crazy how your mind works and your art comes out when you're young and when you're just learning to develop like you've seen in this video things that would have took me eight hours began to only take me an hour hope you found it entertaining thank you everyone who's come over to my youtube channel recently i'm really overwhelmed with the response it's getting it makes all this editing and this filming so much more worth it please leave a comment below just even if it's just saying hi um and let me know what you enjoyed about this video and also leave any video suggestions if you would like to see anything in particular on my channel let me know in the comments below and the next video you'll see is going to be another studio vlog so yes thank you very much for watching as always i'll see you in the next one i love you so much all right then i love you bye